All right, hey guys. Um, so today I'm gonna unbox uh, this complete series of Smallville because I want to, and I like decided to recently decided to start rewatching it. So I've already taken everything out, but I'll go through it one piece at a time. This is the outer box boxing for it with Tom Welling there on the front. Complete series of Smallville. Side and the bottom is just commercial. Great stuff. And then there's the farm on the back. It's pretty nice. And we moved from my room to the kitchen table for this. And this is has a little booklet. I'll take it out and show you here in a second. It's a little. Come on. Get out of there. There's one. And there's two. Right, so first off, we have this nice little Daily Planet issue of the Daily Planet with the fam now fam kind of sort of famous front page. And it has like actual stuff written in it all about all sorts of different people. I'll flip through each page because just in case someone wants to see it. All right, so that's the first page. Return of the Just Society of America. Go a little. There's Arthur, who later became Hawk. I always love how DC will like go back to actors that they've used before for different roles. I love how they do that. I hope one day Marvel can get to where they can do that. Because I don't think they have enough right now to be able to do that. Come back. And I remember, like, on the year they did uh, Crisis on Earth X. Stephen Amell posted a picture with him and said, you wouldn't believe the deleted scene that, that wasn't shown in Crisis and was standing with him. And I was like, "Did was there a Green Arrow crossover that no, no one gets to see? If there is, I'm very mad. Lex Luthor for president? I would vote this Lex Luthor for president. I know I'm terrible for, for that, but I would. He's by far the best Lex Luthor. But I will say this, John Cryer gives him a run for his money on Supergirl. And it's more Arthur. Of course, we'll go to the money section. It's going to be about the Luthers. I still love that they got him to play uh, Dr. S Savannah's father in the Shazam movie. Old Wildcat. I never actually read all this all the way through. I've read a few of the articles, but never the whole thing. In the Black Canary with Stargirl. And that headline's wrong. We need all the heroes we can get. Which is one of the reasons why I love this show, because they, they did not hold back. And they also gave us live action Zatanna, which was beautiful, amazing. I'm hoping they will bring her. I can't wait for the Justice League Dark show for her to be in it. It'll be great. Blue Devil. Stark. I mean, Supergirl. Kara. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people... I remember back when Supergirl first started, a lot of people were like, she's not this chick. I cannot remember her name. And a lot of people were a little upset by that, but I'm not going to lie. I like Melissa Benoist more than more than her. There's Martha. Of course. Martha, why did you say that name? I can't help myself. I'm sorry. Got you some comics there in the back. Crossword that I've been tempted to do before. But yeah, that's the Daily Planet. The collectible Daily Planet. Uh, newspaper that comes with it and full color and this was the back day card it fell off i tried to keep it on there as long as i could but it fell off so i decided just to put it in the back of the set see it was getting old anyway it just has all the information about everything that's in there in here then we come to the collectible episode guide it's pretty nice it has some fun behind the scenes uh pictures and some yeah, this letter from the executive producer. And then kind of a cast overview. Still, even though I love Kevin Costner, he's one of my favorite actors. John Schneider, best. Uh, Jonathan Kemp. There has been, probably ever will be. And I always forget that he was in this show. Always do. 
And we can start with season one. Young Chloe. Sad she went crazy, but whatever. Oh well. A little fun story about me and Smallville. I was never a huge Superman fan. I'm still really not. I'm not that big, big into Superman. But I enjoy him more now because a friend of mine bought me the first season on DVD because he had been trying to convince me to watch the show for a good five years. And I just absolutely refused because I've never liked Superman. But he bought me the first season and I find it rude to not watch something if someone buys it for you. So I watched it. I started the first episode. I was like, I doubt all it. It'll take me months, probably, probably to finish this. I finished it in a weekend. And about 20 minutes after I finished the finale, I had to call my friend up and sit, to tell him that I absolutely hated him because I had bought this, the complete series, on DVD. And I would be binging it. And I did. I binged this show so hard. And I recently decided to start watching it again. That's why this video is happening. But yeah, I, re I just decided to start watching it, rewatching it like two days ago. During the week of finals. I know. Smort. Using them brain cells to, th to thank. And then the lovely Doomsday, who later came on to Supergirl, was probably, he was probably my favorite Supergirl villain. I don't really count John Cryer's Lex yet. Though he might have been in the last season, I still haven't finished it. I probably should have started that instead of this, but... What are you gonna do? Well, come on. This is the last page, anyways. And then, yes, the... Now, infamous that. And because this series is so long, they had to put it in two different kind of booklet sets. This one has seasons one through five. This one and two. Yeah, this two is missing because it's in my player right now. I still kind of shipped them for a little bit, but then I was like, no, you're supposed to be end up with Lois. Still best Lex of there ever. I'll say it again. I'll probably say it a few more times before, before this video is over. <laughs> Never really got these two together. Never really did. Even though I did kind of ship ship him with her. The later when she got with Oliver, I was like, that's, that's perfect. Then we get Perfection, the one he... Belongs with Miss Erica Durrance as the perfect Lois Lane. I think. Yeah, one more. And it's just a picture of legs and another picture of legs. And in the back, yeah, it's just the, the Superman S. And here we go with the rest of it, seasons 6 through 10. Big team. Big team. Team up photo. Sorry. Excuse me. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Clark in the Phantom Zone. I'm sorry if you've never seen this show and I'm kind of spoiling a few things here and there. I'm sorry about that. More Supergirl. Still didn't really care for her. And that episode, I remember that episode. That episode honestly kind of was probably my favorite episode of the entire series. And then... I'm ashamed to say this, but it wasn't until like a few weeks ago when I started looking through this again that I realized that that was Brainiac 5 with Lex as like his speak, his uh, secretary or whatever, whatever he's supposed to be. I was like, wow, I feel so dumb. It's also a spike from Buffy. Love Buffy. And that one, was, that episode was just tragic. God, it was awful. Well, it was great, but it, it was sad. It was so sad. Then we get to the season with Zod. Not the best season. 
I mean, I enjoyed it, but um, I kind of expected more when it came to Zod. I didn't really like him, the guy that got to play him. I didn't think he did the best job. Now we're into the final season, season 10. Got Watchtower there. Maybe they'll get married. The world may never know. And now onto the bonus test. Clark there. And then the image that is kind of now famous. But yeah, that's the complete series of Smallville on DVD, the complete collector's edition of it. Uh, like I said before in my other videos, if you saw something that I have that you'd like for me to unbox, I'll unbox it. But uh, this will be the first one. This is kind of be like a test run. We'll see how this one do does. If I do any more, I'll probably do the Batman Quadrilogy Steelbook set. But yeah, that's the video. Thanks, you guys. If you liked it, leave a like. If you liked me with my nasally-ass voice, leave a subscribe. All right? Have fun out there.